Hello everyone, we'll be talking about a very important topic from aptitude that is time and work. In this video, I'll be taking some basic questions of time and work and as we will move to the other videos, we'll be taking some advanced questions. Not only this, but we will also be talking about various methods in solving a simple question of time and work. So let us start with the basic question and let us see our approach towards it. So my first question that comes in time and work is A can do some work in 10 days while B can do the same work in 15 days. In how much time will they both finish the work together? So it's a very simple question that we have. Now what I'll do, I will explain this question in couple of methods. First one, the one which we use during our school days, which says if A can do some work in 10 days and B can do the same work in 15 days, together they can finish the work in how many days? Let's see what we do. So by using this data, I can say that A's one day work becomes 1 by 10 because A can finish the work in 10 days. Similarly, B's one day work becomes 1 by 15 because B can finish the work in 15 days alone. That means together they can finish that is A1 and B1 the one day work for both of them comes out to be 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 15. Now what we usually do we take a LCM of this factor but now, when we talk about competitive exams, my suggestion would be do not take the LCM. Let's write them as it is so that I write 10 multiplied by 15 in the denominator and my numerator becomes 10 plus 15. Why? Because when I solve it, I'll be getting 25 divided by 150, which can easily be cancelled to get 1 upon 6. So therefore, instead of calculating the LCM, we can simply write them as multiplicative manner and the addition manner. So this gives me the total work done by A and B in one day is 1 upon 6. And if you remember properly, we used to do a reciprocal of this term that is reciprocal of 1 upon 6 and we get the answer which says in 6 days, both of them can finish the work. This is what we used to do during our school time. Now let me explain another method to solve the same question. And this method is going to be very useful because every question based on time and work will be attempted by this particular method. Let's see what the method is. Because A can do the work in 10 days and B can do it in 15 days, I will assume total work as any random unit. So for example, I assume 30 units. As I said, you can assume any random value. I have assumed 30, you can assume 60, 90, 120, whatever it can be. So my assumption of total work is 30 units. According to the question, A can finish this work in 10 days. That means in one day, A will finish 30 upon 10, that is 3 units of work. In the same way, B can finish this work in 15 days and therefore B's one day work will be 30 divided by 15, that is 2 units. So that they have finished 5 units of work in a day. But they have to finish 30 units and therefore 5 units a day and 30 units to be done is to be done in 6 days directly. So by using this method of total work, I have actually avoided the concept of fractional calculation because over here we were doing fractional calculation which is a little more time consuming. And in this method of total work, we assumed a multiple of the given 
values in the question that is multiple of 10 and 15 and therefore I assume 30 I will explain the same question by assuming one more data for the work so that you understand it properly so for example I assume total work as 60 units therefore A's one day work becomes 60 upon 10 that is 6 units B's one day work becomes 60 upon 15 that is 4 units so their one day work becomes 10 units but because they have to do 60 units they will be taking 6 days to finish the job so a question becomes so simple by the use of this method one more thing now once again if I observe this method of my school time I can certainly correlate both the methods the only difference is in my method of school time work assumed was one unit and therefore my one day work for A was 1 upon 10 and one day work for B was 1 upon 15 and even when one day work was 1 upon 6 the second day work done was 1 upon 6 third day the one work done was 1 upon 6 and similarly for the fourth for the fifth and for the sixth day until this work get finished and hence we say that the answer is six days though during our school time we simply used to say that the reciprocal of this value gives me the answer but what is the logic behind that it is the total work which is one I hope the concept is clear to everyone also if you observe one more important thing here and that is this calculation if I reciprocate this calculation I will get my answer which means 10 multiplied by 15 divided by 10 plus 15 gives me my answer and if I have to generalize this I would say time taken by A multiplied by time taken by B divided by time taken by A plus time taken by B that gives me time taken by A and B together so by this I can use a formula like this directly to find the answer of such questions I hope the concept is clear let us take one more question to understand all the methods once again carefully so here is another question on your screen A can do some work in 12 days whereas A and B together can finish the work in 8 days in what time will B finish the work let's go by method number 1 that's the school time method I know that 1 upon A plus 1 upon B should be equal to 1 upon A and B together that's what we did in the last question so when I put the values that is 1 upon 12 because A takes 12 days plus 1 upon B this is what I do not know is equal to 1 upon 8 and when I solve it 1 upon B is equal to 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 12 if you remember I asked you not to calculate the LCM values so you can simply write them as 8 multiplied by 12 and in the numerator it becomes 12 minus 8 so I get 4 divided by 8 multiplied by 12 and when I cancel them my value is 1 by 24 and hence B becomes 24 days as my answer but as you can see it's a long step it's a long method let's adopt the second method that is the total work method let me assume some total work so I assume total work as 48 units which means if A can do this work in 12 days A's one day work becomes 48 by 12 that is 4 units similarly if A and B together can do it in 8 days their one day work that is A and B's one day work is 48 divided by 8 that is 6 units 
now you can see how easily we are getting the values so if a1 is 4 and a1 plus b1 is 6 my b1 becomes 2 units that is in one day b will finish 2 units whereas b has to finish 48 units alone so what is my value 48 divided by 2 and that is 24 days becomes my answer to the question so can you see how easily we have solved the question by using the total work method and the third method or I would say the formula that we used a and b together is equal to time taken by a multiplied by time taken by b divided by time taken by a plus time taken by b so let's put the values time taken by a and b together is 8 by a is 12 and time taken by b is what we have to calculate so it is 12 plus time taken by b by doing the cross multiplication I get 12 eights are 96 plus 8 times of time taken by B is equal to 12 times of time taken by B so it becomes 4 times of time taken by B is equal to 96 and therefore time taken by B comes out to be 24 days that's my answer so these are some simple questions that I have explained using few methods other than the school method that we used in some more videos going ahead we will be solving some good quality questions using the same total work method and we'll try to rely more on this method rather than on any other method I hope you have understood the concepts for more details you can subscribe to our channel that is youtube.com slash swanit education and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for new videos for some more topics and for some more videos please keep watching our channel till then goodbye thank you